The Stingray, an automotive legend, form, flair, and image exude pure American way of life. Higher, farther, and faster. Until the appearance of the Dodge Viper in 1992, the Corvette was considered to be the only real sports car made in the USA. Of course, the Stingray carries a V8 under the hood. In the basic version, a good 250 horsepower. Unusual for American cars, on request, the cars are available with a four-speed manual transmission. The Stingray is the first Corvette with two different body styles, coupe and roadster. Over the various construction periods, the Chevrolet Stingray was upgraded with ever larger engines. Uwe Vermeister's 1967 Roadster has the largest standard engine fitted under the hood. Chevrolet presented the first model, now called the C1, to an astonished audience at the 1953 Motorama. The concept of a narrow two-seater body made of plastic stretched over a sturdy box frame continues to the current Corvette generation. Engineer and racer Zora Dunta is recognized as being the father of the Chevrolet Corvette. But the Corvette only gets fitted with the V8 engine in 1956. Thus, converting the Corvette from a boulevard cruiser into a serious sports car. In 1960, Corvette starts with a team at the 24-hour Le Mans against European competition. Not taken seriously by many, the Corvette finished eighth overall. In addition, the class victory was achieved, a respectable success for the sports car from America. However, in the early 60s, the form is obsolete. The new Corvette had to be found. The design department experimented with different concepts. Kearns up for the Stingray. The inspiration came from a pet Stingray of chief designer Bill Mitchell. For the first time, there is a closed coupe Corvette. The new Corvette is even sportier and more uncompromising. Oliver Treeb is totally committed to driving the Corvette. 47-year-old engineer hoards everything connected to this cult car. Over the years, the car fan has built up a veritable collection in which are examples of Corvettes from 1964 to 1996. But his favorite model is the C2, the Stingray built from 1963 to 67. Whenever the busy entrepreneur has time, he takes one of his babies out for a ride. Oliver Treeb has his Bahama Blue 65 Coupe completely rebuilt in the USA and modified according to his own wishes. The fan remains silent, however, regarding the performance of the Corvette Big Block. He speaks of sufficient. Oliver's example is described by the US car scene as a sleeper. Lots of power under the hood, but the original appearance.
Oliver not only likes to drive with his Corvette, he is well versed with the technology and completes service work himself because a classic Corvette is built simply and is mechanic friendly. Mechanic friendly because you can get to everything easily. The procurement of small parts is very good and the price is very low, with the exception of the chrome parts and specific body parts. Everything about the technology is really very cheap and in the framework, so that working on it is fun. The engineering is durable and sturdy. Although the Stingray is simply constructed, there are a few hidden flaws like the frame, which can suffer from rust in various places. And Oliver has already taken on many Corvettes in moderate condition and knows where you have to look, literally. In this area, through breaking, moisture has accumulated. The frame will corrode from the inside out and back here at the end of the sill of the frame. It is usually heavily corroded. The cross beams are not so problematic, but in the other area I've seen many vehicles that are completely rusted through. Although the plastic body can rust, but even that weakens with time. We have a few places that are neuralgic for stress cracks. These are especially rough edges here at the headlights in these two areas here. Here one sees cracks that often can't be avoided. Then you often get spider cracks, which are web-like cracks in the paint caused by shrinkage behavior of the CSF. At certain points, like here, the transition from massive component to the narrow framework, it is happening here. You can see very well that causes a crack here. If you slam the door often, which is a weak point, but otherwise the body is very good. The positives, good supply of spare parts, reliable technology and good driving performance. The cons, high consumption, cracks in the body and weak braking performance for models with drum brakes. All in all, the Stingray is still a sports car for everyday use which fascinates. Due to its unique design and its shocking to the core sound, or simply through its aura.